Now, here are the beautiful devil's bit scabies, um, a late flowering one of the scabies. And here you can see its seed head and the seeds um, are very easy to come out of the seed heads. So I'll be able to sow these in another location. But before I started doing that, I saw this one here. You can see this one here has been eaten from the top down. And this is evidence that birds have been feeding on the seeds. They haven't been dispersing of themselves because they're still kind of hard, see? But the birds have started eating the scabious seed heads. So this is why you want to leave seed heads on flowers. Here's another one. This is a seed head that was plucked by a bird. You can see they plucked all the way around the cone. Let's see if I can film this right. There, you can see the cone, the central part that was holding the seeds. And a bird was sitting there and was pulling these seeds off one at a time. And here's another one where the cone is completely the bird has plucked all the seeds off of that one. Here it hasn't, isn't ripe enough. But those are the, the devil's bit scabies, which is a really important flower, both for pollinators in the autumn and for the seeds for birds to eat. So this should be an important plant that people want in their fields, roadways, meadows, and gardens, because it's a multi purse purpose plant in that it feeds many different species. So that's that is the evidence of the birds having their food.